What's up my wonder schnarfs? How you doing today? It's Chris here and today I want to talk about the bad balloon. It is the biggest balloon in the game. It is the strongest balloon in the game and we need to talk about how the heck we're supposed to take this thing down. Well of course just throw a bunch of crap on the screen and hopefully it'll get destroyed. By that point man you're probably gonna have a lot of money. So this guy first comes out on round 100. And then after that, he comes out, I believe, on round 130, and then kind of scattered throughout beyond in free play mode. Um, what it does, though, is it's gigantic, it's purple, it's extremely tanky, I think it's got like 10 times as much health as his Oh My God, which is freaking ridiculous, and then when it explodes, it's got two DDTs and two Oh My Gods inside. The Oh My Gods really aren't that difficult to pop, especially when you only have one of these bads coming out, uh, but the DDTs can be pretty difficult, because the bad's gonna tank all the way to, to near the end of the map, and then you're gonna pop two DDTs right at the very end. So how the heck do we take this guy down? Well, one of the most surprisingly good towers is actually a ninja over here. It is a fifth tier tower. It is $51,000, but at this point in the game, you should have enough money for that thing. Don't forget about the ninja discipline if you want to make him shoot even faster. Even those bombs are going to end up shooting faster with that ninja discipline, so it's extremely helpful. And what you can do is you can start to take this guy down surprisingly fast. These bombs are extremely powerful against the Moab class balloons, and he's basically constantly exploding this uh, this bad balloon right here. Once you get down to the DDTs and everything, he could still end up popping this thing, um, uh, pop the, the DDT balloons basically, uh, but the Zoma Gods might be a little bit too much for him to handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop down an extra super monkey down here. And one of the best super monkeys you guys know that I love to use these guys is the Dark Knight. They're great for a late game over here. Um, especially if you get the Plasma Blast Dark Knight over here as well. If you want to go crazy with it, man, you can even go all the way up to the Dark Champion right here. So it looks like there's more than just two DDTs. Is there three DDTs? There is. There's three DDTs inside of the Bad Balloon. I always thought it was two guys. Whoa, we're completely changing the way the game is meant to be played right here, man. And then the two oh my gods that are coming out over here are also pretty important for us. So, you can tell my ninja is doing a fantastic job of taking down all these, these higher tier balloons. And then, sadly, I didn't build enough defense to deal with all the balloons inside. But you can see, with just a little bit of money, not that much money spent over here, we're able to take down the bad balloon to a pretty low amount of balloons. Hopefully, the other random uh, towers that you have kind of combined in here can deal with that guy. Now, there's not that many other towers that are just fantastic against the bad balloon. There's a couple guys that are pretty decent, um, but they might take a lot of time to build. For example, you could use a, a freaking ridiculous Plasma Monkey fun fan club if you end up getting 40 Plasma uh, uh, Dart Monkeys over here, but most people aren't going to do something that ridiculous. So we got to figure out what the heck are we going to use to pop this thing. Well, another great idea is to use a ridiculous Moab Eliminator right here. Look at this thing go, man. So let's send out another bad balloon and watch this thing go to town. So its range is sort of small right here. If I get the uh, extra range and frag bombs right here, why not, man? Just pop some extra damage up in here. And we're going to use the ability right here. And you can tell, look how much damage we did. But that's not even really what the thing is about. It's that we have to use this ability every, like, five seconds or so, man. Holy crap. So if you're active with this thing, you can take down this bat very, very quickly. And the balloons inside, they're not much harder to pop with this thing, man. Look at him go, baby. Look at him go. Of course, we've still got this guy down here kind of trying to work his magic. He's struggle lugging just a little bit. But with these uh, ridiculous abilities right here, man, holy crap, Ola. So there's a lot of other ways to do this, and I don't want to go over every single way to pop the bad balloon, but I wanted to show you guys a couple quick ways to take this guy down. Don't forget, spamming some sort of lower tier uh, super monkeys, for example, just a regular old Robo Plasma, can be a pretty darn effective tower at dealing with the bats. Because you're not spending all that much money. If we don't go up to fifth tier, we could still end up getting a lot of these guys up and do a lot of damage with them. So just getting rid of this guy and even getting rid of this guy. This is just three Roboplasmas right here. Inside, hopefully. You know what? I'm going to reposition these guys. <laughs> Inside the range of a monkey village, I might add, because you are going to want to be able to pop those DDTs. Um, and you need camera detection to pop those DDTs. So we're going to get three random Robo Monkeys right here up to 230. And we're going to send out another Bad Balloon. You guys are going to see how much damage these guys can do as well for a pretty reasonable amount of money. These guys uh, all combined together are about as much money as that one two, uh, 025 Ninja right there. You can see this Bad Balloon, he is freaking tanky though. It's not like we're going to easily insta-kill uh, this guy with anything. 
He's going to be tanky, he's going to be hard to pop, but if you use the right towers in the right combination, it shouldn't be that big of a deal for us overall. So, um, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. Again, almost any tower is going to end up helping out against the bad, but there's a couple towers that actually don't do a great job. For example, this uh, main Moab ability right here does not affect the, the bad at all. Even when you go up to Cripple Moab over here, guess what? <gasps> it still does not stun the bad balloon? No, it doesn't. On top of that, if you end up getting a ridiculous 2-4 ninja or, or uh, an O-2... Oh, no, an O... Oh, a blue sabotage, let's just call it a blue sabotage day. If you get a blue sabotage, it does not slow down the bad. It can slow down the blooms inside, but it can't slow down the bad, which is kind of ridiculous, man. So we can slow down the blooms inside, but once the bad comes out, it's still not going to be slowed down. Abilities do not affect this guy. Uh, or rather, some abilities don't affect this guy. So, um, overall, the bat is an extremely, extremely strong balloon, but if you've got a couple solid towers up in here, you're going to learn to take these guys down with a breeze. I think, surprisingly, it's not going to be that hard for us. I think if we get to round 100, I think mostly everybody is going to take down the bad balloon. There's not going to be very many people that are going to keep losing and losing and losing on round 100 for some random reason that just doesn't make any sense. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.